Today, we're gonna to be talking about audio. And as you know, audio is a very important part of any video production. Have you ever tried watching your favorite film without the sound on? If you haven't already done so, give it a go and you'll soon realize just how important audio is in its ability to convey the filmmaker's message, help with the narrative of the story, and provide emotion and meaning to the visuals. Your YouTube videos may not need this level of consideration when it comes to audio, but if you look at the content by some of the most popular YouTube creators, you'll notice that in most cases, the audio sounds incredible. Both the vocals delivered by the presenter and the use of backing music throughout the production often gives the content a professional sounding edge. The ability to get great quality audio is dependent on two things. The obvious one is the equipment you use, whether you have dedicated audio hardware, including a microphone and audio recorder, for example, but the one that isn't so obvious is the environment you're shooting in. Even with the best quality audio gear, if you don't choose the right microphone according to the natural sounds of the environment, then you're not gonna get the best possible results. This is particularly relevant when you're shooting videos indoors. Each of us will be shooting our videos in a unique environment and it will have its own acoustic properties. So this is the location that I normally shoot my videos. I've temporarily converted it into a games room to deal with this lockdown situation. And as you can see in here, there's a fair amount of reverb in that background audio. So I have to not only make sure I choose the right type of microphone, but also consider the microphone placement very carefully. I can choose to use a lapel microphone, which I have here. And this has the advantage of allowing me to place it up close and personal. It's very discreet and being so close to the vocal source, there tends to be less room noise and echo present in the recording. If I use a studio condenser microphone, it assures me of the highest quality, but I have to be up close as I don't have sound treated walls to avoid reverb and echo. Now this is fine for this type of video as I don't mind having the microphone in shot and I'm stationary, so I don't need anything more portable. But if I was shooting an interview, for example, or walking as I present the video, it wouldn't quite cut it. So in that case, I would choose to use the lapel microphone or consider a shotgun or boom microphone like the one I have just out of frame above me. It's the Rode NTG2 and second to the Rode NT1 provides the best possible audio quality. So in this demonstration, I'm gonna compare the differences between each of these microphones. I'll compare the sound of the Studio Condenser Rode NT1, the Rode NTG2 shotgun and the Rode SmartLav Plus lapel microphone. I'm gonna turn all post-production effects off so you can hear the raw audio source. And then at the end of the video, I'll explain the effects that I used and why they make such a difference in the final recording. The audio that you've just been listening to is coming from the Rode NT1 Studio Condenser Microphone. I'm now gonna take the effects off so you can hear how it sounds in this environment. The Rode NT1 is a one inch diaphragm condenser microphone that gives you the ability to capture pristine low noise vocals and instruments wherever you go. Combining innovation and tradition, the NT1 is a professional grade studio condenser microphone. Starting with the completely new HF6 capsule, it's the perfect fusion of artistic design and cutting edge manufacturing techniques, offering present full bodied sound to take your vocals and acoustics to the forefront of your mix. Now, let me switch over to the Rode SmartLav Plus. The Rode SmartLav Plus gives you a broadcast quality lavalier lapel microphone for your iPhone or smartphone, built with the same knowledge and experience that has made the Rode a household name with their microphones. As a result, the Rode SmartLav Plus is a compact lapel mic capable of delivering exceptional quality and response, while also being ultra discreet making it perfect for broadcasts, interviews, and other spoken word applications. To record, simply mount the microphone to the person speaking, connect it to a smartphone or tablet jack, and record easily via the Rode Recorder app for iOS. And now let's take a listen to the Rode NTG2. The Rode NTG2 is a lightweight condenser shotgun microphone designed for professional applications within the film, video, television, and production industries. Its full frequency response, low noise, and audio transparency makes it an ideal film video and voice over microphone. 
while its low weight without battery makes it an ideal boom microphone. A battery option is also available for phantom powering of the microphone. So hopefully this demonstration has given you a better understanding of the different types of microphones you can buy and when to use them to give you the best results. The reason that the tests may have sounded different to the original audio that you heard in the intro of the audio is that I removed the effects and this shows you how affecting your audio can really improve the results that you're getting, especially when you have a less than ideal audio environment. As I mentioned, I'm shooting in a room that has a high amount of reverb and echo due to all the hard services and lack of soft furnishings. So to counter that, the first thing I do is use a third party plugin called Diverberate. This plugin will make your audio sound like it was recorded in a studio or as though you had added some absorption materials around you. Then I'll use a gate to remove any room noise or self noise. I'll add some parametric EQ followed by a compressor to give the vocals more presence and make sure they sound good on all devices from a large flat panel TV to a small iPhone. Now, hopefully you've got some value out of this video. If you did, hit me up with a like and consider subscribing to the channel so you'll be notified of up and coming video releases. If you've got any questions about the content I've covered today, as always, I'll encourage you to put those questions in the comments box below and I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Bye for now.